Politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. Illuminati. You've come to take control. You can take my heartbeat. But you can break my soul. We all shall be free. Well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. Illuminati. You'll never Your eyes, wake the fuck up, America yeah. Elite control your lives with fear Just scaring you with terror on your screen Telling you what to believe But who benefits from panic, hunger, and greed? Yeah, that's how they feed upon the masses Like a fucking disease The only answer is to rise up Get up off your fucking knees Tap into your inner beam Like a 33rd degree I'm planting mental seeds for men To break free of an evil greed You can't see, cause you ain't believing me But I'm telling thee that Tel Aviv ain't true Just professionally manufacturing a fallacy and Balancing your talents, we tragically waiting for things to fucking change magically and mystically. Rewrite our fucking history. This ain't no bullshit mystery. Unlock the prison with the key. It's in your mind as the monster to see. Illuminati, you've come to take control. You can take my heartbeat, but you can break my soul. We all shall be free. And they subsidize illness in America. They have to. There's too much money in it. Illuminati, you'll never take control. Your new world order will lead to none at all. We all shall be free. Fuck the internet. It took away your intellect. It stripped you of respect. So now this is what you're left with. What's the symptoms of distress? Which prescription is the best? The definition of misdirection. Doctor's orders. Get some rest. This hocus pocus diagnosis got you focusing on stress. These politicians ain't no better. Fit the description of the devil. Grab your pistols and get ready. Cause they're trying to play your pedal. Yeah, they're trying to pull the strings. Have us jumping through the rings. But they treat us like we're property. We're fucking human beings, man. Things are not the way it seems. Rarely you see the American dream. Cause it's more like a nightmare fight fair yeah i'll do that when a vote counts yeah i'll do that shit when they don't doubt until then we're all anonymous on a mission going all out Illuminati, you've come to take control you can take my heartbeat the food industry and the pharmaceutical industry own the food industry so the food industry wants to make you sick and ill by putting all these chemicals in that rot your body and make you ill so they then can give you tablets to make you better, which don't, because it's all about Illuminati industries making money. All about what? Illuminati families making money in the world. <laughs> well, hey, oh, you, you perked up there, Rob. Illuminati families making money. <laughs> um, doesn't make a lot of sense to me, to be honest. <laughs> But we gave our power away. We started not growing our own vegetables, started to give our power away to other people saying, we'll make this food for you, you don't want to cook your own food, we'll make this for you. And then we didn't start questioning what's in this stuff and they started putting all kinds of crap in it. I'm a raw foodist myself. Like for a Sunday morning. <laughs> but I, I don't eat meat because that's full of chemicals and fear. And why would you want to eat cortisol and fear and put all that in your body and it will rot your body, make you ill?
times it's hard To wake up in the morning mind full of demons I don't wanna hear them anymore Got me heartbroken fine So many babies screaming cause they singing destruction Before they see a human being We'll never get out there until we learn to break all I wanna say is that they don't really We can all make a change, so I'm told But I haven't seen the change unfold me, you can never break me Will me, thrill me, you can never kill me Ooh, sue me, everybody do me Kick me, don't just like I break me All I wanna say is that they don't really care about us I'll keep open, please, if you prefer to breathe All I wanna say is that they don't really care about us Communities in need of people that believe Albums number one all over the world. All over the world. America's the only one because I don't, I don't want to say too much. But it's not number one in the United States. It's conspiracy, yeah. I don't want to say too much. I'm done. But I understand in 2005 you were with him and actually took him to a hospital at one point, correct? Yes, that's right. That, that was the, the last week of the trial. And when uh, 
I got a call from Joe and a message from his mother that uh, I needed to come out and just take a look at him because they was worried about his, his demeanor. When I get there, uh, I go to the trial. From there, we go back to Netherland. And he asked me to come upstairs, and he grabbed me and, and started crying and said, please don't leave me. They, they, they're trying to kill me. And I said, when's the last time you ate? He said, no, they're poisoning me. I said, well, when's the last time you drank water? And, and so one thing led to another. So I have a friend of mine that has this huge machine in, in L.A., uh, Global Cardia Care. It's, I said, if you can bring this machine down, Michael's agreed to get on it. And they, they, they clamp you and they squeeze you and it'll print out everything in your body. And the only thing that it printed out was he was extremely dehydrated. Nothing wrong with his heart, nothing wrong with his lungs. And so the next day after we left court, I said, I need to take you to a hospital. He said, no, no, they'll kill me. And I said, well, let's do this. Let's let nobody know where we're going. Let me drive you up to San Francisco to a hospital that don't even know we're coming. He agreed to that. And then I said, look, 20 miles away from here, let's go to one of these hospitals. And we went to a hospital, and they examined him. And at 5.30, or a little bit before 6, they started intravenously putting liquid in him. At 6 o'clock the next morning, they were still putting water in him. And the doctor said to me, had he waited 12 more hours, he would have been dead.